after other wrestling chants of the years, <laughs> you fucked up. Uh, somebody has AIDS or something like that. You know those derogatory <laughs> things. Yeah, sure. those derogatory things that we get sanitation as a chant. What a world we live in. Here we got JJ Garrett. I like him because he looks like AC Slater from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> well, no, sorry. If, if AC Slater from Saved by the Bell had sex with Scott Steiner and they had a child, wow. you would get JJ Garrett. Perfect. The singlet, the mullet, the hair, the tan. I've always been a fan of JJ. Me too. In and out of the ring. Real good person, real good wrestler. J.J. Garrett is a man that I once saw in a wombat ring, I believe it was, literally tear down the house, utilizing one and only one move the entire match. That move, Tony, a headlock. Some say it was match of the year. Yeah, it was incredible. And it was so incredible that it, it moved him from, a, I believe it was a dark match opportunity that he had in wombat. It moved him to debuting on Game Changer the same weekend. And now here Here's he is. Here's somebody that is making waves in independent wrestling currently, Trey Lamar. And Trey, he has a really big weekend ahead of himself with AIW tonight. It's going to be him, Lee Moriarty, and Alex Shelley. Wow. Now that is a dream match, and it could main event any show this weekend. And, it's and you can see that tonight at 8 o'clock with AIW. Right here on Fight TV as part of the collective. Get the package, buy the shows individually, whatever you do, support this. Independent wrestling can't happen without you. You know, I didn't know this match was happening today, and I gotta say I'm really excited for it because I, I'm a big fan of both these guys. I feel like they both have a great career ahead of them. They're still young in the business, Yep. but man, they, they get it. And they're, you can't teach people getting it. Trey Lamar representing that big Starks brand. You see a lot of the up and comers, a lot of the fast rising stars in wrestling are running with that big Starks brand. We'll, well see if that helps him with the- I don't uh, think that's gonna intimidate JJ. JJ no. looks like a shooter. Yeah, he sure, look at everything he does is Fucking awesome. Scott Steiner, minus the Shonies. <laughs> well, even Scott Steiner now is, no, is minus the, the Shonies. Yeah, he, no, he doesn't have a Shonies anymore. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Scott Steiner also minus the Shonies. Shonies is disgusting. I can't stop seeing AC Slater and Scott Steiner now every time I look at the monitor, Tony. I've been telling that since day one, and we're they're gonna sit here and just exchange some nice holds. He's got that patented headlock that he made famous. He should trademark it. He should. The headlock kid, JJ Garrett. And it's great to see, as you said, Tony, when someone is a great wrestler and also a great person and you see their hard work, their efforts paying off and getting recognition, getting the opportunity to show the world what they're made of. And that could really be said for both of the guys in this match. See, Trey has a height advantage. Wow. So it's making it harder for JJ to have a, like a quality side headlock and apply it correctly because all uh, Trey needs to do is stand up and he takes away leverage. Lamar goes behind and locks on that headlock again, reminiscent of his Wombat debut. I heard um, Bill Dundee taught him that in his car. <laughs> and in case you don't know which car is Bill Dundee's, it's covered in graphics of Bill Dundee. Yeah, I think it's like a Buick. <laughs> or a Lincoln, I don't even know what it is. Buick sounds more on brand. Lamar, up and over. Oh, JJ's going, big suicide die. Oh, no, headlock! Look, that's yes! what I'm talking about. It's over. He's going to tap. He's going to tap. JJ Garrett in know. control. JJ's going to rip his hair out. Rip his hair all out and his head off. Listen to the fucking crowd. Never before has there been a holy shit chant for a headlock. Like just imagine a regular side headlock hurts. Oh, of course it does. And then you have the guy's momentum coming with the suicide dive, and he catches you. On oh, Cauliflower it. ear coming right there. That's how you get it. Look at that mullet too, like everything it's glorious. about it. I wish there's a slow-mo motion of him doing the suicide dive with that mullet flow right into the side headlock. It Maybe someone viral. can gift that. It would, yeah, please, give it. What I love about JJ's mullet is a lot of people's mullet, it only goes down. His mullet goes out and down. Big forearm to Trey. He's hitting the ropes. That was un a little under the throat. Yeah, follows it up with that deadly chop, taking all the wind out of Trey Lamar. 
wiggling that glorious mullet in the off. air. Oh, little old Mara Fuji thing. Sets him to an STO, backbreaker. Oh, wait a second. It's Big Show's final cut. That's it. Close. Very close. You know, I don't know if Trey's, you know, thinking ahead of tonight's show because he just doesn't seem like the normal Trey that I watch. I feel like he's too worried about Shelly and Lee tonight, and he needs to focus on JJ right now because JJ is no slouch. Without a doubt, and it's weird for, for wrestlers generally to have so many high-profile matches in one day or in one weekend, but that's what the collective is all about. Lamar plants that kick right in the shoulder blades of Garrett, but does not hook the leg and gives Garrett an easy escape. Garrett barely had to pump those Nikes to pop right out of that pinning attempt. JJ looks like he's built for the long run. He's like a, a Greg Valen, Greg the Hammer Valentine. He's a slow starter. But as soon as he gets going, man, just watch out. Ooh! A discus forearm right to the face. Trey caught him. Very innovative. Tri tripped him there. Garrett returns the favor. Whoa! Ooh. A step up club to the back of the head. Hurt his own elbow, he hit him so fucking hard. Lamar could be out. J.J. Garrett. Wow. He's getting personal between these two. Lamar just trying to oh, shove him off. Oh, him in the face. And just think, he doesn't have kick pads or anything to be protective when he's nope. throwing kicks. He's just kicking. It's bone on bone at that point. Push off, roll back. Fancy. Lamar with the springboard. Big old springboard. This is it. Leverage pinfall attempt. I was almost going to get mad. I just posted the other day about how I'm happy nobody does the alligator clutch because everybody kicked out of it. And that was almost a variation of the alligator clutch. If you would have kicked out, I would have left this. Would have walked out. I would have walked down in that ring and I would have punched both of them in the face. Lamar, front face lock, easily escaped by J.J. Garrett. Garrett with the kick to the midsection. Set him up for something. Maybe Steiner screwdriver after his, his father, Scott Steiner. He's an honorary father. I think I saw, oh, a trip up. Oh, I've seen him do this before. Oh! Nobody home. Lamar misses the big boot. Didn't miss that. Almost like a standing GTS. Sets him up right there. Underhook. One, buster. two. So close. But earlier yesterday, um, I think I saw Scott Steiner repoing cars. He looked identical to Scott Steiner. And it makes sense because J.J. Garrett's here. Like, I think Scott was just trying to get some extra money repoing cars. Why not? While he's watching his son wrestle. And if Scott was going to take your car, whether he had a right to or not, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Holla if you hear him. Lamar missed that kick to the oh, back of the mullet. slap. Giving Garrett a, a moment to fight back. Slap to the face by J.J. Garrett. Oh, my God. These shots are echoing straight through the fairgrounds. Bouncing off the concrete Whoa. walls. Big Pele kick by Trey. Glanced him on that top of the head. And when people, to, another one. There oh we God. go. He got 150% of that one. The thing is though, people need to realize, even if you slightly glance somebody in the head, a shot to the head's a shot to the head. It doesn't matter if it's with part of your foot or your entire foot. Without a doubt. It could knock you out real quick. I've been knocked out with less. A lot of back and forth action between these guys, like just two very evenly matched competitors. Evenly matched and super innovative by both. Both their arsenals are great. Lamar didn't have a lot behind Spoiler. those punches, but it was enough. Going to your point earlier about when you're hitting the head, you don't have to hit that oh, that big hard. Big trip up. Maybe he's gonna set up that six one nine again. He's gonna hit it this time. Got it. In I the don't corner. know what his area code is, but he hit it. Wait a second. Oh, what the fuck! Shout out to. Sexy Eddie with the total sexy throwback move. Classic. From back in the early days. For Tony Depp in Wrestling Encyclopedia. Garrett hooks the leg and no! So close. So close. Shit. Referee Jesse Fields in there checking on JJ Garrett. Making sure Garrett can continue, making sure Lamar can continue. You know what, Trey? He might wear himself out from that, man. He's got to watch if, if, you know, if I were him, I might just lay down at this point. But like, you know what? 
JJ's killing me with these chops and all these strikes. I'm just going to stop punishing myself and worry about tonight. Right? Because it's got a, it's got got a like big a one shot tonight. Variation. Gets out with some forearms, hooks him in the underhook again. Garrett, so many ways to get out of a hole. Garrett knows the reversal for everything. A lot wow. of trips. Big super kick back to head. See, they're showing you how effective a trip can be. A lot of people, you know, just see the, the drop down quick and they're like, oh, well, it's nothing. That is the point. You catch yeah. them off guard and you will trip. Look at Trey Lamar! Right, elbow drop. That's a frog splash elbow drop. One, two, two three. Got him. Puts him away. Beautiful execution. Frog splash elbow drop. That's going to be a gift. That's probably on my timeline right now using that hashtag, Jimmy DF. A lot of momentum going into tonight with Shelly and Moriarty. So many familiar faces I'm seeing here to the collective. It's a, it's like a family reunion out here. I just saw Daniel Makabe, and I haven't seen Daniel since uh, January at Without a Cause. Shout out to our homies out in Seattle with the Without a Cause, Max, and all them out there. We miss you out there.